How to say no? Why is it so hard for us to say no? One of the most frequently cited reasons is that we are afraid of the consequences. We don't want to hurt the relationship and we fear the reactions of the other person. Let's now watch a scene from The Godfather, which we can learn from, strange as it sounds. In this scene, there is a pitch to Don Corleone by an up-and-coming mafioso named Solazzo. There, Don Corleone. I need a man who has powerful friends. I need a million dollars in cash. I need Don Corleone, those politicians that you carry in your pocket, like so many nickels and dimes. I need, I need, I need. Solazzo focuses only on himself, and that's a mistake if you make a pitch, because you need to focus on the other person. What's in it for them? What is the interest for my family? 30%. In the first year, your end should be three, four million dollars. And then it would go up. Now, what is the interest for the Italian family? My compliments. I'll take care of the Tatalias. Out of my share. He demonstrated that he prepared for this meeting, Don Corleone did, because he was aware that there was another family involved in this business. It's very important that when you receive an offer, you want to understand all the details. So I received 30% for finance, political influence, and legal protection. That's what you're telling me. That's right. Why do you come to me? Why do I deserve this generosity? If you consider a million dollars in cash, just finance, dissolute, I'm calling Okay, now he has every bit of information he needs to make a good decision. How did he do it? He repeated back what was heard, and also he asked questions. It's very important because when you say no, after you receive an offer, you really want to signal to the other person that I get you, I understand you, I have all the details that you told me. I said that I would see you because I heard that you were a serious man to be treated with respect. But uh, I must say no to you, and I'll give you my reasons. What he did is he separated the person from the request. He said, you're a serious man to be treated with respect, and he said no to the actual offer. So it's very important. And then he will give his reasons briefly. It's true, I have a lot of friends in politics but they wouldn't be friendly very long if they knew my business was drugs instead of gambling, which they regard as a, a harmless vice, but drugs is a dirty business. Oh, don't call it, it doesn't make any difference to me what a man does for a living, you understand? But uh, your business is uh, a little dangerous. What a great comeback from The Godfather. Did you see that? When he said drugs is a dirty business, Solazzo reacted because he felt put down, he felt attacked. But then, what Don Corleone did by saying, your business is kind of dangerous, I don't care what a man does for a living, he said, you know, I, I don't care, I don't judge you as a person. And then the conversation can continue in the good spirit. If you're worried about security for your million, the Tatalias will guarantee it. Oh, are you telling me that the Tatalias guarantee our investment? Wait a I have a sentimental weakness for my children, and I spoil them, as you can see. They talk when they should listen. But anyway, Senor Sonotso, my no is final, and I wish to congratulate you on your new business. I know you do very well, and good luck to you. 
especially since your interests don't conflict with mine. Thank you. A very firm no at the end. And he congratulated, he wished good luck. And again, with this, he demonstrated that he has no problem with the person. So in summary, separate the person from the request, say no to the request firmly and empathetically, and give your reasons briefly. Can you avoid discomfort? I don't think so. But you can reduce it if you say no in the right way. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found the tips useful. Try them out and let me know how you did in the comments below. Thank you and see you next time.